As far as data sharing for the police itself, uh, our police department has six separate and distinct police districts. They're all patrol districts. Unfortunately, when criminals wake up and decide, hey, it's time to commit our crime, they don't say, hey, I'm going to the second district today or I'm going to the fourth district. They go out and they commit crime wherever the opportunity presents itself. The information sharing piece of this is huge, not only for the Montgomery County Police Department for sharing between the districts, identifying the trends early, deploying the resources, sharing the resources, but we are also a border agency. Two of our districts border on the District of Columbia. Crime, again, will, the trends here are the trends there. So being able to work with the data and manipulate it in a way where you can share with other jurisdictions uh, is very helpful to identifying the trends early and taking care of business. In Montgomery County, for example, we have a lot of municipalities and we work well together. And so as we build a capacity for Montgomery County, we will share that and work with all of our municipalities as partners to help each other. Part of this is eliminating the stovepipes where one person does it their own way, has their own software, has their own system, but it doesn't talk to any of the other systems. What we're trying to do is develop a, a mechanism of communication where we're all talking about the same thing, where we're working together. So it's broader than just a data set or just a tool or just a technology. It's really a new way of doing business and part of that is making sure that we're sharing and working collaboratively with each other, which is not happening everywhere. But I think that's a big part of what we're trying to accomplish with this data initiative. Jurisdictions, especially in the Washington metropolitan region, have to work together. I mean, the criminals don't respect borders. Uh, we get folks that are committing crimes in other jurisdictions and then coming here and committing crimes. Montgomery County residents committing crimes here and committing crimes other places. To be able to exchange information and have information available um, to, to all the police officers and detectives who are working in this region is tremendously important. Um, the fact that um, a, a detective from the Metropolitan Police Department of Washington, D.C. can look at, um, at information from Fairfax County Police and that person can look over in Prince George's and Montgomery, it's just a tremendous help. Thirty-five years ago when I was, you know, investigating crimes and, and uh, how, if you didn't know someone in that police department, so, you know, you'd, you'd have to call them and say, hey, this is the information I need. It was a very cumbersome process, and if you didn't know somebody, it might take you even longer to get the information you need. Now this information is all available to, to folks online, and so it has a tremendous benefit in terms of crime fighting for this region, not only just specific jurisdictions, but for the region itself. I think there, there are a lot of opportunities for greater collaboration as, as we move forward.